How to crochet two-way reversible bag. Hello everyone, I am Sharon and this is a new tutorial for everyone. Ito yung bag na may dalawang klaseng stitches. Pwede siyang maging reversible kung gusto mo. You can add also a magnetic button for the lock. And makikita nyo sa pinakailalim niya nilagyan ko ng plastic canvas kaya nagform siya ng oval shape at sturdy siya. Hindi siya lalaylay pag nilagyan mo ng gamit sa loob. And dalawa yung strap na ginawa ko imbes na isang mahaba at pinagtugtong ko siya using the gold bag hooks para just in case na gusto mo mas shorter yung strap niya, you can just remove the other strap. If you want naman na maging body bag siya, ipupull niya lang dun sa isang side para ganito siya. So, marami actually yung way para isuot tong bag na to. Ang nakakatawa sa kanya kasi is reversible pa siya. So, you can use the other side. Or, pag tinignan mo yung loob niya, very smooth din yung stitches niya. I hope you stay tuned and watch until the end of this video. And do not forget to subscribe para marami kayong mapanood ng mga video tutorials ko. So for this project, I'll be using the 8-ply milk cotton na bulky yarn, but I'll be using a smaller hook, which is 5mm. I will be needing one skein of the light blue yarn and the other one dark blue. And to start, I will chain 22 or up to the length that you would want. And then once you get to the desired length of the foundation chain, on the third chain from the hook, that is where we're going to work our first double crochet. So we will work one double crochet into each of the back chain except the last stitch. Once we get to the last stitch, we're going to work three double crochets. So this will make the oval shape. Once done, then we will keep on working one double crochet into each of the stitch on the opposite side. And then once we get to the last stitch, that is when we're going to add two more stitches. So once done, we will add two more stitches into the very last stitch which is where we have the chain 2 and by the way chain 2 does not count as a stitch so we're not going to slip stitch on top of it we're going to slip stitch on the very first double crochet instead Ayan, so tapos na ang ating first round. Dapat both ends merong three double crochets. Now for round two, we're gonna chain two, but it doesn't count as a stitch. We will work two double crochets into the very first stitch. Kasi part siya ng three double crochets of the previous round. So maglalagay tayo ng increase into the very first stitch where we have one of those three double crochets. And then in between, maglalagay lang tayo ng one double crochet into each stitch until makarating tayo dun sa three double crochets. Then that's the time that we're gonna add two double crochet into each of those three double crochets.
All right, so once done, we will just work one double crochet into each of the stitch, except when we get to the last two stitches. Because in last two stitches, we're going to work two double crochets into each, because it's a three double crochet increase of the previous round. Once done, we're going to slip stitch on top of the very first double crochet, not the chain two. So we will work one more round, but it's easy to work an increase. Just work an increase into each of those two double crochets that we have in our previous round. Once we get back around, medyo magadikit na sila. And we have skip stitches. But it's okay. Now we're going to end the round with a skip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. So, iwan muna natin to saglit. You can add a stitch marker. And then, if into every second round, saka natin siya babalikan para magwork ulit na mga rounds of V stitches. So we'll get to the other side which is the light blue yarn and by the way you can choose any color of the yarn that you want. So we need to fasten this off because it's not in the right position. Dapat nandudun siya sa skip stitches. So I'm going to work on the skip stitches this time and I will include the other uh, stitch of the other piece of the dark blue one. So we're gonna chain three and then into the next stitch one double crochet so we will make granny square stitches around on this side and then we're gonna chain two for the chain space 
now into those next two skip stitches we're gonna work one double crochet into each so ang pattern niya is ganun lang we're gonna work one double crochet into each of the next two skip stitches followed by chain two so we will repeat this sequence until we get back around So once done, we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain, which counts as our first double crochet for this round. Now, you have noticed na naklosa ng tuluyan yung pinaka base natin. So we will get back to this color after working another round of these stitches of the dark blue yarns or the dark blue yarn, yes. So after slip stitching, we're going to work a chain 3, which will count as one double crochet. And then for the chain space, we're going to work chain 2. Into that same stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. And then we're going to skip the chain 2 and one double crochet. Now into the next V-stitch, into the very first double crochet of the V-stitch, we're going to work another V-stitch, one double crochet, chain two, and then one double crochet into the same stitch. Now we will repeat this until we get back around. So once we get back around, we're going to end the round with a slip stitch on top of the third beginning chain. So this is going to be the repeating round. We will repeat this into every second round. So after this, we'll add the stitch marker and we will continue with working the granny square in rounds of the other color. So this is how easy it is. We will just alternate working the stitches with these two colors so in here we don't need to cut off the yarn we're just going to slip stitch our way into the chain two space so that we can start with another set of two double crochets and then chain two so do not forget to include the blue yarn so we're going to work a slip stitch first and then we're gonna work our first double crochet, which is a chain three. One double crochet into the same chain two space, and then followed by chain two. So we're going to repeat that sequence into the next chain two spaces. We're gonna work two double crochets and then chain two. So we will repeat this sequence until we get back around. So, bali, yeah, alternate lang natin na stitches between V stitches and then granny square in rounds until we get back to the height that you want for the bag. So, nasa sa inyo na yung kung anong height yung gusto nyo, but I will get to a certain height and then I will show you what it's going to look like next. Ito na siya after working a few more rounds. Pag in-alternate mo yung granny square stitches and then V-stitches. And then for the edging, gumawa ako ng one single crochet into every stitch around for two rounds yan. And then ito, papakita ko na sa inyo kung paano ako mag-close ng 
uh, join nila. So, I usually work this kind of uh, technique para hindi halata kung saan ko sila ginoin. And then, we'll do the next one dun sa light blue yarn kung paano mag-work ng two rounds of single crochets. So, dito sa granny squares in rounds, bale, ang gagawin ko is mag work ako ng after chaining one, one single crochet into the same stitch, one single crochet into every stitch around. So, bali din sa chain two space, of course, we're gonna do two chains or two single crochets and then one single crochet into each of the next two double crochets. So, bale, one single crochet into every stitch around once you get back around we're going to work a slip stitch on top of the very first stitch which is not the chain one but the single crochet and then we'll repeat the round same way we started the previous round yeah, so if you want to work a few more rounds, okay lang. Depende sa gusto nyo kung saan kayo masaya. After matapos na natin yung two rounds, we're going to fasten off and weave in all ends, pati yung mga nasa baba, para ma-hide natin yung mga tail ends. And yung next na gagawin natin is yung Romanian cord strap. So, ito maganda tong klase ng strap for the bags kasi medyo sturdy siya at hindi siya nag-stretch. And also dahil bulky yarn yung gamit natin, maganda siya talaga dahil mas thicker siya kung uh, bulky yarn ang gagamitin natin. So, depending nga pala yung length sa gusto mo, you can try it over your shoulder, tignan nyo yung length and then make sure na magbigay kayo ng konting allowance kasi kapag uh, medyo mabigat na yung bag, of course hahaba yung strap natin so you don't want it to be too long yung tamang tama lang, at least magtanggal kayo ng konting allowance dun sa haba niya So, bali, ito na yung pinaka-loob niya. So, pag binaligtad mo siya, maganda siya talaga kahit uh, puro granny squares and uh, maganda rin yung loob kung yung loob yung puro V-stitches. And then, tignan nyo naman yung ilalim. Because of the plastic canvas, maganda siyang tignan kasi nag-form siya ng oval shape. How to crochet a Romanian cord? First, we'll make a slip knot and then we're going to chain two. And then on the second chain from the hook, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We're going to turn and then we're going to insert into the first loop there. Yarn over and pull through one loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we're going to turn. Now you will see two loops now. So we're going to insert the hook under the two loops and then yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. And then we're going to turn, repeat until we get to our desired length. Pali dalawang strap yung ginawa ko, imbis na yung isang mahaba. Nilagyan ko na nun siya ng gold na bag hooks on each end para mas maganda siyang tingnan and medyo elegante siya. Tapos, ipagdudugtungin ko na lang sila kung sakaling maikli. So, pwede siyang handbag using just one strap or you can add the another uh, strap um, by joining them with uh, silver bag hooks para mas longer siya and you can use it as a body bag. So, ganito lang, simple lang, tinupi ko lang siya and then 
uh, tinahi ko. And make sure na padaanin nyo ng maraming beses para ano siya, matibay siya. So, after this, ito na siya. Ilagakabit naman natin yung pinaka-bag strap niya. So, it's very easy. Mas, mas napadali pa yung paglalagay or pagkakabit ng strap kasi nga detachable siya. Just in case na gusto nyo yung other side yung nasa labas, uh, babalik na rin lang yung bag. And, of course, you can use a uh, yung mga uso ngayon na mga organizer bag na nabibili. Marami sa Shopee, may iba't ibang shapes and sizes na may kasamang zipper. So, mas maganda yung ilagay dito sa bag na to para neat siya and pag madumi siya, madali na lang labhan. Yan ang purpose niyan. Kaya wala siya magnetic button kasi pag nilagyan ko siya sa loob, hindi ko na siya maibabaligtad para gamitin yung kabilang side niya. So, if ever na ayaw nyo ng mabaligtad siya or gusto nyo magstay na yung eto yung labas ang pinaka ano niya, harapan niya, then you can add a magnetic button. So, eto na siya. And also, kung mahabaan nyo yung mga kunyari, lalakihan nyo siya or tataasan nyo pa siya, you can also use this idea para maging backpack siya. I'm sure magiging maganda ang kalalabasan niya. You can just add the rings dun sa may pinaka bottom ng bag. Dun sa oval shape, lalagyan nyo ng dalawang D-rings na kapareho ng color ng mga bag hooks. So, pag pinul mo siya on one side, pwedeng-pwede na siya. Ganito ang ginawa ko for the handbag. Minsan na ginagawa ko, pinapailalim ko yung dalawang hooks para magmukha siyang may o-rings na gold. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to hit like. Comment down below for more requests. And do not forget to subscribe to keep you updated with my next videos. Thank you so much and have a nice day.